And something feels off about them. I also integrated monsters into the collective, though I ranked them last. Even so, they are part of it. Despite their lack of intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved, much like soldiers who have undergone strict training. Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay for your ceaseless arrogance. Hey, all hey them? Uh, your plan didn't work, so what do we do now? I've already sent my gift to the Collective. It'll take some time for the recipient to receive it. You two just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front of us. Well, alright. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but we'll hold them off for as long as we can! There is no escape! A laugh! A fresh maneuver! Make yourself a move! Here you are. I'll hate them. This is that bad of a person. But it has to be done. You must. You see? That is the will of the Collective. Even with the hatred gone, they continue their work. An external anomaly cannot shake the Collective's stability. Shattered! Quicker! Help the fract! He won't hold out for much longer. He's a lot tougher than we imagined. Something's gone wrong with your team. The match. Hold the line! What's going on? What's with this sudden influx of information? Silence! Has the Overmind, I command you! Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? <laughs> you were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. What you said to Elias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! You're trying to destroy my hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable, and your hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. Is it worth living here like a machine? Being a tool for the rest of my life? As soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. It's not over yet. I am the Overmind! There has to be a way! It's too late. 
Once the desires of the Hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king. My numbers shouldn't be so far down on the list! Thrawn's is a liar! This isn't what we agreed to! I should be the one in your position! Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an intractable diffusion effect upon encountering negative emotions. The disturbance that Ilios caused wasn't for naught. It made the Collective question the Overmind. Setbacks in the plan further amplify doubt, which diminishes the Overmind's influence. This inevitably causes the Collective to generate negative emotions. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, avarice. These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as humans generally do not share completely transparent channels of communication. But in the Hive, where there are no secrets, Negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, what I said to Ilios was the trigger for all of this. A few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. Even back then, you knew that Ilios was the bait all along? But how did you know? Since when? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I never look down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution, but you are intelligent and disciplined. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mistake without a resolution. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words come from you. But if you're saying that out of sympathy, spare me. I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance that comes with being a genius. Nobody likes being treated like that. Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you, someone who doesn't fit in. However, I've never placed myself on a pedestal. I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at everything objectively. On the other hand, you have failed to come to terms with who you truly are. You care too much about winning and how others perceive you. You mean to say... I'm the arrogant one here. Is that not so? Arrogant and emotionally fragile. You view people as a simple mediocre collective, while you regard me as one of your kind. <sighs> Regardless, I have lost. You can take me back to the Academia and stand trial. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. I'm just an ordinary staff member. I believe it is the General Mahamatra's duty to escort you away. Sino? What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. I left a similar picture in my letter to him, and I made several similar symbols on the way here. Wait, what are you-
you mean you left a letter? Oh, Paimon remembers! When Paimon first saw you, Arab said that you had left a letter for Sino. So you really did know that something was up with Ilyas from the start! Uh, <gasps> you lied to us too! It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you practice the method discussed therein, your vision may improve. Do you need it? Seriously? This guy. By the way, Sino, Paimon heard that Siraj sent more people to the Academia. We can't let those jerks get away! Don't worry. The Matra have started screening suspicious persons. And we've already arrested many of Siraj's associates. This was likely one factor that caused the Hive's consciousness to waver. Everything went as you predicted, All Haytham. Good. <laughs> Seems like the interesting part is already over. I'll leave the arrests to you all. See you. And off he goes! <sighs> There still are a lot of test subjects here, so let's stick around for a while. Oh no. Oh no. I was involved in all these plans to get rid of the acting Grand Sage? What came over me? How could I do something like this? We were accomplices without knowing it. But I'm afraid that Alhatham might pressure the Matra into giving us heavier sentences. Whether he's the scribe or the acting Grand Sage, we can't afford to offend him. It seems our future at the Academia will be full of uncertainties. We can discuss the future later. Leaving the Collective left me with a strange sense of guilt. I didn't feel anything towards Alhatham at first, since he wasn't well known. All the opinions I heard about him were negative, though. Siraj made us hate Al Haytham, and we blindly accepted that hatred and thought of him as a bad person. From how things look, we've done a lot of irrational things. I guess we're getting what we deserve. Uh, could you help us apologize to Al Haytham? Sure, Papa will help you tell Al Haytham, but. Whether he chooses to forgive you is up to him. It's okay. No matter what he chooses, apologizing will make us feel slightly better. If he chooses to remember this, we're prepared for our punishment. It's time to go. <sighs> Let's go. So, were they all doomed? We can ask all Haytham about that later. Looks like I can't exist as Siraj number 36. Yet, my life as Ilyas goes on. When I was at Gundarvaville, I thought about whether I should just come forward with the truth. But I didn't have the courage then. So in the end, I lost my sense of justice, but I also wasn't able to conform. Ilias? Don't be sad. I'm the one who deceived you. However, I didn't come out of this completely empty-handed. The moment the hive collapsed, an idea popped into my head. I realized that the collective I was always trying to fit into wasn't as powerful as I had imagined. Understanding that gave me courage somehow. Perhaps one day, I could be just like all Haytham, and not care about what anyone else thinks! You can do it! Paimon believes in you! <laughs> Thanks. Well, I should get going. I'm one of the primary suspects in the case, so I'll have to receive my due punishment. Can you keep this a secret from my parents and my sister? I just don't want them to worry. Also, please apologize to all Haytham for me. Goodbye, you two. All the test subjects have been taken away. 
I'll have my subordinates seal the place, retrieve all documentation, and destroy the system. Are you too hurt? I brought bandages and hemostatics. Hyman's fine. <sighs> Just a little tired. Get some rest. Oh, Haytham is probably waiting for you at the entrance. Go see him when you're done here. Watch out for any of Siraj's associates who might still be in hiding. If you encounter anything you can't take care of, come find me at the Academia. Okay, you stay safe too, Sino. Let's go meet up with Al Haytham. The matter's settled. We can return now. <laughs> I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Judging by your faces, it seems like you two still have some questions. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now, so I'm not going to field any questions. Hey! Where are your colleagues? Um... You couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? until you explain what happened back at Siraj's secret base! See ya. Ah, hold it right there! Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me of some other people. Stop changing the subject! <sighs> It's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with me. Uh, uh, where to? You'll know when we get there. Is this... your home? Yes. <laughs> What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite and inviting it's over? Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. Uh, and... Huh? Who are they? Stop making a fuss. They're obviously guests. You're not from the Academia, are you? I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the person from that time in that one place! Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh no, oh no, do people know that I live here? What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please, don't tell anyone else. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Uh, hey! Hey! You're leaving just like that? What's the deal, I'll hate them? Uh... Nah... <laughs> uh... Sorry, I know we've only just met, but I have to ask. Are you, um... You wouldn't happen to be actors that I'll hate them hire to pretend to be his friends, would you? Uh... What? 
Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. But aren't you his friend? Uh, I wouldn't say friends, exactly. Okay, well, we used to be. But we're not anymore. Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kave. I'm sorry to have met you under these circumstances. Anyway, please don't say anything about me living here. You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some Mora will make Paimon shut up. Are you serious? How could you... Oh, of course. You're all Haytham's friends. What? That was a normal response. You exposed your own weakness. Still, why do you have to treat me like he does? Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. Paimon's dizzy from reading. This is way too complicated. Why don't we just ask questions instead? Paimon wants to know... Uh... Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness's weakness? A year ago, Siraj presented his thesis to the Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually responded with two lines of reasoning. The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human evolution, a subject prohibited by the academia. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. That's way too dangerous! You're not seriously considering that, are you? Cause, uh... Whew. I'm merely stating the facts. If Siraj had done that, I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Huh. Paimon gets it now. Ha! <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some other species in another decade, I wager. What about you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? At least I'd be a fungus with empathy. Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? Huh. So that's how things went. Ah, <sighs> such is life. If only he'd known, Alhatham could have stayed indoors today, and the whole thing could have been avoided, right? Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not gonna read them, tidy them away! They don't belong there! Uh... Uh... <sighs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? I hope you're aware of your lack of conversational skills. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hm. Well, having said all that, are you okay? I'm doing quite well. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on the wall. You... You don't understand anything! Stop criticizing my taste in decoration! Paimon can't tell which of them is more problematic. <sighs> Let's just get this over with and leave. You whisper very loudly. Oh, um, yeah, Paimon's been told that. Do you have any more questions? Let Paimon think. Uh, oh, by the way, the other researcher... 
villagers apologize to you. They hope that you can forgive them. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really care about what they think of me. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gundarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. He apologized to you too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come forward with the truth. Judging from his experiences, he's more courageous than the average person. There's no need to lay even more criticism on him. Criticizing the brave only shows how weak you yourself are. I'm going for dinner in ten minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. You only started investigating with the Matra at the Academia because you were interested in something, right? But after meeting Siraj, it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experiment. I had no interest in him personally, but I was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him. I now understand the reason. Correct. The fall of the sages and the shutdown of the Akasha terminals deeply affected the academia. The fact that Suraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting Grand Sage, I'll have to figure something out. In addition, what happened to Ilyas is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't deserve the outcome that he had received. Paimon understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work, huh? I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Wait, your resignation? Yes. I've already submitted my resignation to the Academia. Soon, I'll resign as the Acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. The official process to select the new sages is already underway, but this process is long and takes far too much time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. Oh, now that you say that, Paimon's kinda hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some yummies! See ya. <laughs>